What up, Juggalos? Panic 17, Carnival Spirits, the Weekly Spirits. And the question is what we think about Magic Ninja Entertainment. And we all know what went down, so there's really no point in um, just telling it over again. We started with a new nightmare. And for a lot of people, they didn't like it. I thought it was pretty fucking good. I thought it was good, but I always go into every album assuming it's going to be something different. Not really ready to hate it, because I think that's what a lot of people do. Um... We're all on YouTube for whatever reasons, mainly to get our views out there. So when somebody when when somebody don't like something, and I'm guilty for it also, they really just want to put shove its face in the dirt and uh, really let everybody know how fucking different that they think and uh, go overboard sometimes. How do I know this? Because I've done it myself. But, and I know somewhere here, I don't know, I still got a, a closed, sealed copy of a new, a new Nightmare, and I think I'm going to keep it sealed. It was different. It was something um, I don't think anybody's seen coming, taking the uh, a New Nightmare title into consideration. And then, you know... That's around the time when all the drama was happening and whatever. We get twisted, uh, and I'm probably doing this out of order. The Darkness. And I really, really fucking, I really dig The Darkness. I thought that album was the shit. I went to the concert, and it was fucking dope. They did something that I don't think we would have seen them do if they were still stuck with uh, Psychopathic. And I say stuck for a reason because I think I, I'm, I've kind of seen along the ways, you know, up to now, why they left, and I'm 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 kind of glad that they did do it because there there would have never been no live twisted with the wickedness that the twisted and the wickedness is fresh. Some people don't like it. It's okay, whatever. But if you've seen the wickedness, you know that it brings a new energy to certain Twisted songs. They redid the CD, uh, the album Mutant, and uh, have not heard it. Heard a couple songs, and it sounds good. I don't think we would have seen that with Psychopathic. See, there's a lot of things that Twisted are doing, and I kind of like that Monoxide is very open and very honest with his opinions and it I love that it pisses people off because it's weedy, it's weeding out certain juggalos that and certain ninjas that we just don't need you know what i mean so then you know we hear that they're signing new artists and we have seen only one we don't even know who the other two and we're probably not going to know anytime soon. <coughs> I do not know what the holdup is. But I'm pretty sure sometime soon, whenever they're ready, we'll hear from these people. I have a purely speculation thought. My thought was, if you've seen Blaze lately... He got a hype man, and his hype man is masked up. You cannot see his face. And I think that could be a new artist on Magic Ninja Entertainment. But, you know, he's he's masked. They're not ready to reveal him yet. He's getting some stage time and even more experience with them. But, obviously, he's going to be masked. Could be wrong, I don't know, it's just a thought. Leading into Blaze's Gang Rags uh, re-release. And I can understand, you know, that they didn't like the way the album on Psychopathic came out. But both albums, I, I like both albums. 
but it's like I would have really rather have gotten a new Blaze album at that time rather than a re-release. We did not know that we would get the Casket Factory. Now I love Casket Factory. It is an amazing album. The only song I really don't care for is Ratchet. I don't care for that song. I skip it every time. I don't even listen to it. And a new look with new face paint, something very fresh, you know, bringing Blaze back. And he himself said that it was, uh, it got him back in the mode. I could understand how doing something for so long just gets old. And I guess he lost, um, this is purely speculation. I, I'm having trouble remember. I'm pretty sure that's what he said, though. That He said with a uh, psychopathic, he, there, there wasn't, you know, he was losing uh, inspiration to do more. I've lost inspiration to do videos time and time again. Uh, every now and then I'll take a break. But seeing all the drama on YouTube really makes me happy about this channel that we got going here. We give you Juggalo videos. And I've been guilty in the past and uh, bringing drama to this channel, which it gets views, but I don't want those views. I don't think any of us want those views. We want, I would rather do a video that I put hard work into and uh, get 10 views rather than go off on a topic that is drama related and get a thousand views. Fuck your thousand views for some drama. We, I, I don't want it, and I don't think anybody else wants it. Zodiac Imprint are finally, finally coming out with an album. And I can't wait. I have not looked at any of the pre-orders. I'm just going to grab the CD. I don't need no extra shit. Now, shirts, such as this one right here, when it came out with the new Lotus album, I'll do that. But unless... Unless the extra shit you get with it is like really fucking out of this world fresh. Maybe I'll get it, but now I'm just like, I'll just have the album. You know, I'll, I'll get the hard copy and I'll be happy with it. If it comes with a shirt, I'll do that. Who cares about anything else? Now we're supposed to get another twisted album and I, I got something I, I want to talk about and maybe I'll do it on another topic because it, it reminds me of something that ICP has done recently which brings me to the topic of Lex the Hexmaster the first couple of songs that he came out with I'm not going to lie I wasn't really I wasn't really that impressed by him. Um, motherfucker, I'm a bomb on him. Whatever, you know. That's basically like any up-and-comer who's coming, like, basically saying, look, I'm a new guy, and I don't give a fuck. I'm going to run this shit, and I'm going to take uh, what's coming to me. I'm going to take what's mine. So there's nothing, you know, extraordinary about that song. Um Kind of reminded me, and I know it's been said time and time again, but it's hard not to ignore. He, the whole gimmick is very reminiscent of Big Hoodoo. Now it has been said by another YouTuber that um, Big Hoodoo was not ready, and this guy really seems to have a vendetta. Uh, I think there's something more to that topic than he wasn't ready. I'm 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 not gonna go any further, but that just bugged me. He kept saying it. it. It's been said four or five fucking times. We get it. You don't like the guy. You think he wasn't ready. I like his I like his album. There was some serious topics, and then there was uh, some uh, cartoonish, you know, uh, songs like uh, Hexed and. Uh, my homie, you know, songs like that, where they're not too serious, you know, it's kind of like a little story, cartoonish. But, I think it was a good album. Now, The Black Season, I'm not going to lie to anybody who haven't listened to it. It's just, 
It's it's like ICP says. You have one chance to be fresh, to be new, one fucking time. And if you don't do it, can't help you. And that's just kind of what happened to me with Lex. You had one shot, man, and it's they just put the wrong song out. I feel like they put the wrong song out. I just listen to music. I'm not in the industry, so what the fuck do I know? There's a lot of people that like on him, but you know what? There's a lot of people that scream fam all the time. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's it maybe it's kind of like anything that they would have put out. Oh yeah, fucking donut, Mr. Donut guy came out with the fucking uh, album, uh, fucking glazed, and it's fucking out of this world. Like I almost feel like some of these people would would like anything that Twisted puts out. I'm a fan of music, not a fan of following in the line. You know what I mean? So maybe I'll give the Black album a chance, but. To quote Jay, you got one shot. You got one time to be brand new. So I guess that's about it. Zodiac. Blaze. New album. It was the shit. Twisted. I've said it all. I don't know what else I could say. Whoop. To the whoop.